Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Fallout 4 with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome back to the castle. Off camera, I've been trying to decide exactly what I currently wish to do in terms of shall I go to the Covenant, shall I continue with the main quest line, or shall I begin building up the, our beautiful settlement. And I think I've came to a conclusion. We are going to be heading over to the Covenant, purely because I have no idea what this is, other than a few people have mentioned it to me in passing inside the game. A lot of settlers have randomly mentioned the Covenant, and so it is on my uh, map. So, we're going to head on over to the Memorial Hospital and just run straight there. Once again, like in the last episode, I will be trying not to be distracted. I won't be trying to scrap things, I won't be going into other areas, even if they look really interesting, we're going to be going straight to the Covenant. The reason is, I need quite a bit of experience. I need two more levels, one in Gunnut and then one in Armourer before I can have all of the upgrades I currently want. Then once we've got that, we can just mess around doing the castle a little bit and then go back to the main quest line so we can fight against the Institute with a fully upgraded set of gear. And I think one of the better ways to get experience is normally exploring. Although building is pretty good as well, we still need a few resources to really do what I want. I also am considering getting a mod which will stop us from having... Thanks, Strong. From having the silly size cap we currently have, as this area is ridiculous for that. Although I do know one um, get around of that, and that's really weird. You put weapons in the workbench, you take them out, you put them on the floor, then you erase them, and apparently this bypasses the size limit because reasons and bad game logic, I suppose. So, let's get over there and see what we can see. Just so you know, before I start talking about this, I am not going to explore this right now, but I just found Vault 75. It's underneath a school. I only went here because there were like 20 synths inside, and I wanted to loot their corpses. Then I found a way down, and well, this was here. But the biggest thing was, I found a power fist. Oh, fun. Look, just a regular power fist, not the one I've got, the really powerful one, which is currently in storage because I can't use it in my power armor. But apparently you can find these on regular enemies. I thought it was unique to Swan. But yeah, here's something we need to take a look at later. It's completely swarming with gunners and obviously not something friendly. But we'll come back to here later and now I'll get back to going towards Covenant. Well, that's not fantastic. It turns out you need to be level 39 to get the Gunnut rank 4, so that's not the best. But at least we can start putting some points into some other things, like Bloody Mess, for instance, which is just an outright damage boost, or I could start upgrading my Armourer skill, as I do want that to be a lot higher as well, in term so I can actually upgrade my Power Armour with the mods I actually want to give it, as we already have Science Level 3, so we may as well have Science 3, Gun Nut 3, Armourer 3, I suppose, so at least I have a goal to actually go towards. A little bit upsetting, but at least it means we'll get it in the future. I think we're here, and I must say this looks significantly smaller than I expected. Oh, there's someone hostile inside, but the turrets themselves are neutral. So the question is then, how do we actually get into this place? It looks really clean, I'm guessing... Yeah, it just looks like a glorified settlement. Okay, so it's just a small settlement then. I expect... I don't know why, but I expected this huge compound. Okay, uh, yep, welcome to Covenant. And hello there, little doggy. Apparently friendly to us. Where's Kiri? Kiri, look, we're about to have new friends. And a really confused dog. Hello. You here visiting Covenant, pal? If not, move along. You know, armed people loitering around. Not good for the nerves. Sorry, sir. Is that what this place is called? Yeah, we're a real up-and-comer. A pit stop on the road for traders and such. We're not that big, but we got the bargains. Ooh. Got a dock that can patch you up. We even got some lemonade. Well, that's what Deezer calls it anyway. There's a small catch, though. We don't just let anyone inside. There's an entrance test. We call it the safe test. Everyone's got to take it. Interesting idea. 
between you and me, what's the test for? I probably shouldn't say nothing, but listen. We want to make sure only good people come into Covenant. No undesirables. Nobody that ain't actually what they seem, you know? What well, they seem. I'm assuming synths, purely because everyone has been very paranoid about synths. To be fair, that, that is a very founded bit of paranoia, which makes it not paranoia, but still. I'm new to the area. What do you mean about undesirables? But you don't know about... Jesus, listen. Not everyone in the Commonwealth is human, okay? Some are... synths. I'm not gonna say anything more than that. Just take the test. You pass, and you can come inside where everything's safe. Alright? Sounds reasonable to me. However, uh, right now, let's just walk away. I've got a friend here who isn't human. If we're taking a test which can tell synthetics apart from humans, this would be a really bad idea. Gary. What do you want? What shall we talk about? Clearly my favourite companion right now, but please go back to the castle. I don't want you to be killed, or me to be killed, or us to be attacked. We should go our separate ways. All good things must end, I We suppose. must go our separate ways. Could you have said that in any worse way there, Latherix? Character Latherix, seriously. Okay, let's do a quick save and let's continue. You here visiting Covenant, pal? If not, move along. Is that what this place is? Okay, let's yeah, go through we what we just doctor. said, we since we just broke the I'm thing early. The area. What you but you don't know about... I'm not gonna... Do I really have to take the test? Hey, rules are rules. You ready? Yes, sir. Sure. Good. Take a seat, and we can begin. I didn't even realize this was essentially an office. Okay. Goodbye, Chaos Power Armor, and hello to the Rebel Starfleet. So let's begin. There ain't no wrong answers. You are okay. approached by a frenzied scientist who <laughs> yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? Is that really... Okay, well, for those who don't know, that is a question from the GOAT, which is essentially another four-word acronym from... Um, sorry, four-letter acronym from... Fallout 3, so... Please say this is an exact replica of that. I really hope so. I wouldn't worry. If he did that, it'd cause parabolic destabilization of the fission singularity. Uh, yeah. Next question. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection on his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate. But the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Um... Medicate? Scream! No, medicate. Medicate the infected area as best I can. You have a medical background. You discover a young boy lost in a cave. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? Oh, let's be human. I give the boy a hug and tell him everything will be okay. Very curious. Congratulations! Hey, you made it onto a baseball team. Which position do you prefer? Oh, pfft. Any soccer. <laughs> Let's go with soccer. I don't play baseball. Yeah, these are all the soccer. same. Are you certain about that? Never oh. mind. Next question. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill someone. What do you do? Um. Minigun. <laughs> I've got to say minigun. <laughs> I'd ask for a minigun. So I can do the job right. Please treat the question seriously. Or are you? Next. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again. And you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? Picklock, leave him. Procure a bomb laser pistol. Picklock. I'd grab a bobby pin and pick the lock. Be reasonable. That's all you do? Nothing else? Wait, don't answer. Next. Oh no. <laughs> You've been exposed to radiation. Oh, no. And a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? Pray suicide surgery medicine. I'll take surgery then medicine, or medicine then surgery. I can't imagine only one would actually solve that problem. I'd cut off the mutated tissue with a precision laser. Technological bias. Hmm. Oh, a lovely. neighbor is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number one. You want it. Hell yeah, I do. What's the best way to obtain it? <laughs> uh, 
Just, can I just be human again? I'd trade him for one of the comic books I own. Hmm. You're almost done. Last question. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking, and... I wonder if he'll ask about the Overseer, as that's the normal last question. You see, he is really showing the weakness of the chat system in number four compared to number three. In number three, you had a huge description of each, each of these. But this is really... I don't know, it's like, you can't see what it actually means. Just, just raise it. First thing that comes or just mind. change his meds. It's actually really huge in number three. It's all about changing his, his heart medication for something else. I'd put a firecracker in it. See what I mean? <laughs> that never gets old. Test's over. No one's ever answered quite like you. But hey, you passed. I'll open up the gate. I'm a special snowflake. Yay! Would it be stealing if I stole this? It would be stealing if I stole this. Okay, I could have worded that better. Oh, I love that paint set so much. Welcome to Covenant. One second, I'll be with you shortly. Going back into shiny armor. Welcome to Covenant. <laughs> Welcome to Covenant. Door closes on face. I really shouldn't talk to you. Because I'm busy and all. I, I can actually use this eventually? Okay, how do we become allied to, to Covenant? The caravan came a few Tiny little place. Worked for old man Stockton. Solid, Meaning no offense, but I, I got a mountain of work to do. This isn't Diamond City. The caravan of five comes through, you remember. Then they must not have come through. Say, wouldn't you rather have a lemonade? My job here isn't drinking lemonade. I know for a fact they came here. Why the brush off? I want to help, mister, but I really don't recollect. Mark my words. I'll get to the bottom of this. Yes? You from around here? God, I hope not. Not enough of these hicks. They do seem a little bit curious. You have a problem with the people here? All the fake smiles and the fancy talking puts me on edge. The sooner I'm out of here, the better. You know anything about Stockton's caravan? Nope. Sure, I know about... <laughs> Who was that again? <sighs> he was bad as Oops, the rest of these wrong selection. I signed on with old man Stockton to find his lost caravan. What's left of it is just outside of town. Oh yeah, the we'll last stop earlier. was here, so I've been trying to put together the story. But I keep getting the runaround. Got a proposal for you. Help me find Stockton's people, and we split the reward. At least one survivor walked out of that massacre. And I intend to make good on my contract. If I help you, I want something up front. If I have your word, you'll help. I'll chip in 50 caps now. That's above and beyond the deal. Yes, sir. Who are we looking for? The big one is Stockton's daughter, Amelia. I didn't find any bodies of the feminine persuasion, so uh, there's hope. If we find her, Stockton's offering a heap of caps. Sounds fair. I'm in. Here's all I got on the caravan. I don't got proof, but Covenant's involved, somehow. I'll keep poking around, but let me know if you find anything. Yes, sir. Although I won't do anything to jeopardize my relationship with Covenant, because... There's a workbench, which means there's a very small chance this will actually become one of my really settlements in the future. Talk to you because I'm busy and all. What's wrong with you, Talia? Oh, oh, I heard about you. You're the stranger. I make things. Uh, things for the store. Oh, I'm Talia. It's so nice to meet you. You sound pretty handy. Oh, I don't want to be a burden. You're going to like it here. Everyone in Covenant is so friendly and really wants to help. Oh, that's not false at all. <laughs> Too bad the rest of the Commonwealth isn't that way. I know. Wouldn't it be great if everyone looked out for each other? Feel free to use my tools. And if you need anything, just let me know. Okay, does that mean I can take stuff now? Oh, well, take some of the stuff. Tell you. Oh, you're back. Isn't Covenant just the best? It's peachy. <laughs> This place is insane. I don't know if I like it or not. I think I prefer um, Good Neighbor. It's really great here. Oh, I'm so glad you like it here. Have a good day. You too. Have a great day. Where's the other one? You. We're the best community in the whole Commonwealth. 
Yeah, sh no, right now you're not, you're not the one I wanted to speak to. Where is the other twitchy person? Hello, cat. Hello, dog. Hello, Mr. Hand. Hey, Deezer. Fresh lemonade here. Are you okay? What's the catch? No tricks, no gimmicks, just the best lemonade in Covenant, free to our special guests. I'll take some. Enjoy! I hate this place. Oh, well, let me just have a quick check about what you just gave me. Wow, that's actually pretty good. 50 health, no radiation. Uh, what's the stats on purified water? It's slightly better than purified water. Hey, Deezer. Less rads, less mute fruit. Same great taste. Try Deezer's lemonade. He's insane. I'll take some. Limit one per customer per day. Oh, damn it, Deezer. Hey, Deezer. Would you like some free lemonade? I'm looking into a lost caravan. Can you help? You know what would be great for a lost caravan? <laughs> Jesus, lemonade! Voted best beverage in Covenant three years straight! I love this place. What's in the lemonade? Jesus, lemonade is made of goodness. Four special ingredients from sunny, non-irradiated environments, all in one cold glass. Try it and enjoy <laughs> Or take advantage of the money back guarantee. Try it. No, thank you. Oh lord, what on earth is in that stuff? I need to know. Also, this is going to sound very weird, Miss F Fitzgerald, but I want your your dress for um for Curie. Got a bit distracted. Public terminal. They're all sleep in one spot. Well, you know, I'll take these if you're going to let me take them for free. Fine by me. So many guard towers and such. Okay, let's have a quick look if we can do anything else around here before continuing with his mission. Then we'll actually continue with his mission and start doing all that. There you are! Anybody else in town would be happy to talk to you, but... Ted. You see, I gotta run, uh... Diagnostics on the perimeter turrets. John talks to me now. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, cat. I I will call you cat because you are a cat. Hmm. Where does Deezer live then? Who owns Deezer? Hi there. How are you? <laughs> That's a pretty place. Is that meant to be a shop? Hmm. I feel like we should have came here during the night. I'm just going to sit down and rest for the day. And sorry, yeah, we should have came here during the main daytime so all the shops are open and such. <clears throat> well, hello, stranger. The name's Jacob, and I run this town. Glad you passed the test. Our door's always open to good quality people. You can use one of the beds in the guest house. And you should visit Penny's store. Anything else in town? Doc Patricia will be more than happy to patch you up. For a modest fee, of course. You might want to stay clear of Mr. Dan. I've had some complaints about him. Thanks for the warning. Just being a good host. You yeah. have a good stay now. I'll start doing the investigation as soon as I'm sure. I can't do anything else here. I'll be taking that. I'll be deactivating that. I'll be taking that. So this is the guest Enjoy house then. Stay. Thank you! Move, human. Okay, what's the time now? Let's sleep for 12 hours. A glorious morning. Okay, let's continue to talk All to people and see if we can get anything done. Where is that woman who's really happy to say, Enjoy your stay! Yeah, I could always talk to her. A uh, lounge chair, nothing else around here, I suppose. Oh, hello, That's open a door. Lock. Need to Why find is it? a key. Let's hope someone's been careless. 
Apparently someone has. I love that he even spoke about, oh, I hope someone's careless, as he opened the door. Well done, my character. Um, let's have a quick save in case we get caught. Ooh, hello. Jacob's password and Covenant house key. I'm okay with that. Covenant reminder. A reminder! Covenant is a safe place. Whatever bad happened to you in the past won't happen here. But we've all got a job to do. We need word of mouth to spread so eventually dozens of people a week come through here. So hit some guidelines. Be welcoming, but don't make visitors uncomfortable. Any opportunities to encourage visitors to bring their friends? Exploit. Never. Talk about synths? Never. Talk about the Institute. What's a synth? Why are they afraid of them? Did I just really say that? Lathrix! Man! Your current romance target is a synth. You should know what one is, otherwise you're going to be very confused later on, my friend. Very confused indeed. Doesn't seem to be anything else here. Unless I've Ooh, missed something. Anything else? Nope. Only one floor? Are those two floors? I mean, obviously not, but still. Nice house, though, compared to the rest of the houses in the place. Let's be, let's be polite. Oh. All, all, okay, so all the doors were open during the day. Whoops. I, I knew that. I totally knew that. Everyone's going insane if I thought that I didn't know that. Oh, I'll be stealing. Hey, dog. If you're hurting, just... Hello, Penny. Hey there. I hope Swanson didn't give you too hard a time at the gate. If you ask me, I think he takes his job too seriously. But welcome. Everyone around here calls me Mrs. Fitzgerald. But you, cutie, can call me Penny. Hi, Penny. Too cheerful, I agree, but still, let's be nice. What do you do around here? A bit of everything. I try to leave some things for the men folk to do, you know, so they feel in charge. You here to shop? I'll make sure to give you a good price. Let me see what you got. You won't find better quality anywhere. Mm-hmm. I totally believe justice. Is a very, very nice shotgun of a chance of staggering on hit. But we currently don't have the money for it because, well, I haven't... I haven't actually visited a lot of my settlements in a while, so they should have some money left for me. A sequin dress, we already have one of those. A pompadour wig, I actually have one of those as well. Isn't anywhere near as good looking as you might imagine. Destroyer's helmet, plus one charisma and intelligence. That's not actually bad at all. Plus one charisma on that, and that's actually got really good defense. It's basically the helmet I've got on currently, just with charisma. I may come back for that. Got a lot of stuff on her. I love stuff indeed. Nothing I really want right now, but still. Okay, I really do feel like we're going to have to actually just start the investigation. After a long day, nothing beats Jesus lemonade. I what is in that place. lemonade? There's only one person I think I've seen who I can it's actually speak to, to right now. Face not a day goes by Spoke that I don't Spoke to you. Lucky stars that You're I just a settler, aren't you? Meaning Spoke no, to you in same person. Yeah, okay, then I guess we, we might as well in start our investigation. So let's I go ahead and start the terminal. Start somewhere weird. Welcome to, yeah, yeah, Covenant History. We're a young community formed by like-minded individuals dedicated to restoring a quality of life that's been gone for too many years. Our secret ingredients are a shared vision, hard work, and old-fashioned hospitality. Since the walls have come up, we've hosted more and more traders. Our stores offer a wide variety of trade goods at rock-bottom prices. If you find it cheaper elsewhere, let us know. We'll beat it. The safe test uh, is for safety. Psychological profile. So if you're antisocial and stuff, you don't get in. Okay, fair enough. Wait, it was on the welcome. For a brief rest, uh, to a long stay, we have everything you're looking for. Dormitories are spacious, free lemonade. 
sleeping bags. Okay. Yeah, something really weird's going on here. So let's start the quest then. What do we need to do exactly? Hey, Dan. This whole place has got me on edge. Well, people here are real sensitive about synths. How come they is a synth? It, it doesn't update the fact here. you know about this already. Synths are synthetic people made by the Institute. Yeah, I already know. Real advanced machines. Might as well be human. Everyone in the Sorry, I'm skipping this, but I've been told about this like a million times now. While and nobody's even right. Yeah, that's fantastic. Okay. Do you have any other? No. If Covenant doesn't pan out, then I don't know where to start. Okay, then let's. We'll talk later. Let's go ahead and check the caravan then, since that was one of the optional things. Why does one tiny settlement need so much firepower? Oh, that's why I've, I, I'm suddenly hearing my inner thoughts, because it's me investigating the place. Well, honestly, I wouldn't find that too suspicious. I mean, if I had a settlement, and our whole goal was to be as if it was before the war, I would try and keep out all of this as much as possible, so I personally wouldn't find that suspicious. But apparently other Latherix does. The caravan been was before. hit awfully close to Covenant, all right. Tarberry. Deezer's Lemonade! <laughs> Deezer's Lemonade, huh? The caravan definitely stopped in Covenant. Oh yeah, of course, that's actually a really big clue, because they're, they're all saying that the caravan didn't stop by, and of course, we now have proof that they've stopped by. Ooh, I've got a theory. I don't think the theory is correct, but I've got a theory nonetheless. Maybe they're all synths. Maybe they're all synths, and they're just killing people, or they will allow people they think are synths inside, and then kill them. Two theories. Two completely legitimate genius theories by Lathrix. Lathrix the humble. Can I still Head stuff in? in. Oh. Any shop is usually the first stop. That's nice, Swanson. Oh yeah, I'll ask you. Hey, Swanson. Head on in. Penny's shop is usually the first stop. Penny shop is usually the first stop. So now I just have to ask everyone then, I suppose. Hello, kitty. The only house I haven't checked. Wait, did I actually check this house? The door's open. Busted again? I definitely didn't. The third radio this month. Ted better get on this pronto. Although you're the one person I didn't talk Nothing to, and this is clearly where 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 where, 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 where the clue is going to be. I am a little bit ill, and my stammer is trying to fight me. Can this you tell? Cell means business. Weather, weather, weather. You can't laugh at yourself. You kill everyone who laughs at you. Boop. Hello, Jacob's thingy. Personal files. Concerns none. Mr. Fitzgerald, uh, Fitzgerald treats our mission as seriously as I do. If only he could do something about his wife. Concerns mention the synths as undesirables. Altercation with M. Belly, frequent negative comments about other personnel, severe reprimand for warning one trader about the Institute and their ways. If Mrs. Fitzgerald was not extremely effective in her role, I would request she be reassigned to the compound. But she's married to Mr. Fitzgerald, so her permanent posting here is required. Nothing to be done. Huntley T. Possession of contraband three times. Antisocial behaviour made visitors uncomfortable. Huntley's new to Covenant, and given his past, it's understandable that he's jumpy. Hopefully over the over time the community can help him feel safe. If he keeps making visitors feel nervous, though, he may need to be reassigned. Okay, the whole reassigned thing. On the bright side, his reclusiveness makes him ideal for running messages to the compound. Even when traders are in town, his absence is rarely noticed. Where is the compound? Okay, McGovern. Visitors comment on her nervousness and jumpiness. Yeah, she's rarely compassionate. Sorry, she's very compassionate. Could that be a problem? After bringing up my concerns to her, 
Miss McGovern has really come around. Part of our job is to act new, sorry, natural, and if anything, she overdoes it. I really hope she's truly recovering instead of putting on an act. Even if it is an act, she's utterly indispensable to our operation. Montgomery. None. I have no specific concerns about Dr. Montgomery. Looking at her now, you'd have no idea of what she's been through. The only niggling detail is that she keeps to herself and hasn't integrated into the community. But I suspect she represents... Resents, rather, being transferred here and would prefer to be working on the core mission. What on earth is the core mission? There's something so cool going on. But before she was here, our visitor's number... One complaint was the lack of medical services, and unfortunately for her, she's the only one qualified. Swanson. Swanson keeps to himself, he works directly for the compound in administering the test, and as such I have no idea who he was or how to help him. He keeps himself strictly apart from the community, whether that's his orders or temperament, who's to say? Wow. The compound. What is that? Fisherman report. There we go. Mr. Huntley was aborted five... Has aborted five compound runs due to a fisherman who was who has stationed himself at the Mystic Pines Pond. Mr. Huntley reports his new favourite fishing hole is directly on top of the compound entrance. The Stockton retrieval team was almost spotted by the outsider. I recommend and then it ends. Wow. Well, at least we found out where it is. Okay, let's talk to um, Honest Dan first. At least I think I should talk to him. Let's have a quick save, and then we will. Honestly, I'm just happy to no longer be reading. Dyslexic and stammering, not the best sometimes. Hey, Dan. You find out anything about the caravan? Yes. They took the survivors to a compound. And we're in business. I'll meet you there, and we'll rescue ourselves some caravan hands. So Honest Dan becomes a minion. Okay, fair enough. Where on earth is the pond? Oh, it's like just over oh. yonder. I've just happened to have my marker right above it. There we go. Now I can see it. We hey, don't a stranger. Violence. It's no secret you've been poking around. Steer clear of those. Not very neighborly. We'll get along just fine, if you ask me. I know you think you're doing the right thing. Just don't make any rash decisions you'll regret. Hmm. What rash decisions are you talking about? Maybe your next destination doesn't appreciate trespassers. Eeny, meeny, miny, that one. Just come out and say what you mean. Maybe you heard a rumor about Stockton's caravan and a certain compound? So, hypothetically, let's say there's something to that. We wouldn't do anything unless we had good reasons. The best. Tell you what. You just stop this investigation. <laughs> yeah, hundred caps, sure. I'll give you a gift, one hundred caps, and then you'd be welcome back here as our friend any time. Oh, why do I feel like if I go along with this, I get this place as a settlement? You know, I, I'm sure I don't. You know what? No, screw it. I want to see what happens. You can keep your caps, please. Just leave well enough alone. There's more going on than you realize. Okay, then what we'll do is we'll save right now. Then that way, if I do change my mind afterwards and I realise we're making a huge mistake, I'll go back to that save. Because this does seem like it's going to be quite a big a big moment. Also, I've just realised I'm leaving my power armour in Covenant. You know the place which most likely won't let me back in after this? Excuse me, this is worth more than your life. In fact, more than the lives of most people in this game. Just stay clear of the compound. Ah, oh, I see. People that break our rules. Oh, he. Pressed leave. He doesn't Before sound evil. That's the thing. He just does not sound evil. There's no malice about him or anything. I honestly feel like he might be a good person. The compound is probably a good thing. Oh, it's that, isn't it? It's going to be there. Okay, let's have a quick look. See then. Hello, honest Dan. I hate this place. Okay, so clearly we have to get there first. I have a feeling that if I go into the water in this suit, I'm just going to go straight to the bottom and never be able to get up. However, this just looks really cool. 
Well, I'm afraid though, I've just looked at how long this episode has been going on for, and even with editing, it will probably take at least 30 minutes. So, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this rather talkative episode, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Fallout 4 is a series you wish to see continued in the future. In the next episode, we're going to figure out exactly what's going on with the compound.